Hey guys, welcome back to Stratcast. Uh, during the plastic edit video, I mentioned how dirty my car was. If you're not familiar with that video, go take a look. I'll add it at the end of this video so you can go see the failure of my attempt to put plastic dip on an emblem. Should have been a lot easier than what it turned out to be for me, but it is what it is. Um, there was some overspray and some issues with that. I had to do some spot cleaning, so I decided, you know, this past week and I'd clean my car. I'm not going to do a car cleaning video like that. Uh, there are plenty of those that you can find. Uh, but when I clean my car, I try and be pretty thorough. And it's been really difficult after knee surgery. I had knee surgery back in June, and it's taken a long time this time around for my knee to heal. It's finally starting to feel better. I feel a lot more strength. So I actually felt good enough to go and wash my car. So everything's washed, everything's cleaned. It is not spotless, it is not perfect, because again, I only had about 45 minutes. So I'm happy with where it is now than where it was before, but there's still more work I need to do. The biggest thing that I did to make this process a lot easier is a few years ago, I don't wanna say I invested, I bought a car wash kit. I didn't have anything, I just bought a house. So I needed something to wash my car. So I actually went out and just looked on Amazon. I mean, that's where we go to buy stuff, right? So I went to Amazon and found a kit from Chemical Guys. Now, this wasn't the greatest kit. I don't even have a pressure washer, so I had to find something that fit what I had, which was a garden hose. And that's really it. I didn't have much of anything else. So I actually bought this car wash kit and it's turned out pretty well. It's been a pretty good kit. Uh, I have some complaints with it, but I'm not going to complain too much considering all the pieces I got for, I think it was $100. Now, I'm not going to show the entire kit that I purchased because I don't use all of it, let's be honest. I have things sitting in a cupboard that just don't get used. So what you see here in this video, I'm going to show you what I actually use to get my car in a pretty good state. Again, it is not perfect. I, there's still more I need to do. Knee surgery set me behind with a lot of things that I wanted to work on. But this kit is something that I've used. I've used it since I bought my house. It's almost been four years. And I will say this out front, this is not a sponsored video. This is me spending my own money on these products just to see how they work. So I'm going to give my honest opinion of how well they actually work. Because again, it's not associated with Chemical Guys. I am not sponsored. This is not a sponsored video. This is me. This is Josh doing this review. And I want to be completely honest so you can actually make a really good decision. All right, I have my kit right here. I'll actually put a picture up so you can see everything that I actually use. But I have my kit right here. So I will start with the basics. So this right here, it's a foam gun. I don't have a pressure washer, so this is what I connect to my hose. Connects with this, has a quick release. I will admit, this is probably the worst piece of this entire kit. Uh, this works great when you're rinsing off the car, but as soon as you attach this, for whatever reason, this catches and locks in place, even without this little piece here being pushed out. I figured out how to make it work, but this seems a little junky to me. Same with this. Um, it works fairly well to get you know, soap on the car, but it definitely doesn't stick. I'll put a picture of what my car looked like when I used this. This right here is probably the worst part of the entire kit that I have. So take that as you will. I wanna be honest in my review. So these two things, they work, they're not great. I'd like to replace those, but I don't really have a need yet because they work for what I need. So the kit comes full of a chamois, lobby scrubber, nothing great, nothing special, but it's a good scrubber, a lot of surface area. That works well. I think I could get a better one or just as good of one, you know, for two or three bucks. So it doesn't necessarily need to come with the kit. I think it works well again. You can find a good one without having to buy this whole kit. So tire brush, this actually goes with this tire cleaner. I use it, it works pretty well. My tires look pretty good, I think. Tires and the rims, excuse me. Everything looks pretty good, I use this, it works well. Uh, it is plastic, don't know the kind of bristles it has, but it works. Exactly what I needed to do, works well. This stuff works great. I use it every time I wash my car and it just helps get rid of the brake dust and all the other clutter and junk that stick to my wheels just from my daily commute. So these things are great. I also have glass cleaner that I use. 
this works great. I will say it does leave a film and that's actually not a bad thing. Um, yes, it does require a little bit more work, but I found with that little film that's left, if I wipe it off again, everything actually seems a lot clearer. So I don't mind that extra step, but be aware this may leave a slight film and require a second pass with a rag just to clean everything up. Other than that, um, I wouldn't even call that an issue. I don't mind it. I didn't know that the first time I used it, so it was annoying. But since then, I think it works great. Everything seems pretty clear. And you know, that's pretty important when you're driving in snow and you have the reflections and everything. So this works great. So this is the kit. This did not come with the kit. These, this is the soap I use. Um, as you can tell, I went through the initial one and bought another one. So this worked great. I really like this. They come with some scents, uh, some are like bubble gum, some are pineapple or a honeysuckle. I don't really know why they come with scents, but they do. This works really well. I like how it works. I like the way, the way that it coats on my car and the way it cleans. Again, with this, it doesn't coat very well, but it does a pretty good job. And this soap is really good. Again, I bought a, a kit, got, bought this after I got the kit just to replace what I'd already used. So I think this works great. I will probably keep using it. Um, again, like fresh cherry scent. I mean, why? Why does it matter? But whatever, I guess when you're washing the car, it smells good. So you say it's, you know, it's clean. Not sure why there's a scent, but this works great. And the last thing I used with this kit is the bucket that came with, with this kit. Uh, inside here is a dirt guard. If you don't know what this is, you fill the bucket with water and then you put this in. So when you rinse out this guy and rub it, rub it all through there to get all the dirt off this so it can clean again, the dirt will actually trickle down inside the holes and get away from the water that you're actually using so there aren't any particles to cause swirl marks or scratches or anything. So this works well. I haven't noticed any scratch marks anyway with the way I washed my car with the bucket before, uh, but it is nice to have that little piece right there just to help with that. So this is the kit I use. Again, this is not a sponsored video. This is my honest opinion of this kit. Overall, with the other pieces of the kit, it has a vinyl cleaner, I believe, and also a wax and a quick cleaner or a quick shine, which I used during the plastic dip video. So overall, would I say this is worth $100? I would say yes, even with the problems with the spray gun, uh, the, excuse me, the foam gun and the nozzle, Overall, I think it is worth it if you don't have anything. If you already have something, if you already have a nozzle and a way to get the soap on the car, cool. It still may be worth the kit so you don't have to buy each of these pieces individually. So this is my opinion on this. It works great for what I want, great for what I had time to do this last weekend. And again, I've been using this for four years. I do like the soaps and everything that they use or that came in this kit, and I would recommend them even with the problem with the foam gun. Now, if you have a pressure washer, I would recommend the foam cannon. I have not used it, uh, but what, from what I've read and you know looked at foam cannons and pressure washers, it does a fantastic job of the, for the soap to actually stick to the car and do a lot deeper clean before you start scrubbing. So that would be my recommendation. That is on my list. But let me know what you think. Do you use this kit? Do you use another kit? Is there something that you found is better? I'm willing to listen. I'm open to ideas of things that are better. I have seen some things from Cletus McFarlane, a man that works with them named Sam, has his entire kit. I'm interested in that, but I really can't justify buying a whole new kit when I have all this plus the other pieces I don't use. So let me know what you think. Add a comment below with what you use, if you like this stuff or not, and I'd appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. Thanks for checking out Stratcast. I hope to catch you next time.